in celebration of in bulk and preparation for in bulk today i'm taking a few minutes to make some recycled candles and pretty much with the exception of the wicks and the hot glue to hold the wicks in place everything else that i'm using has been recycled or reused so i'm just going to use these cat food cans for little container candles and I've washed them out removed the labels and um, I'm preparing to make them into these candles now they're bigger than your average tea light so they make really good emergency candles so I, I've had these wicks in my supplies forever I don't even remember um, I did look up my favorite candle supply company and it's no longer in business so there you have it but you can get wicks like this uh, a lot of different places online you may be able to get them at your local craft store uh, quite often they will come with like a, a tab like a double-sided tape sticky tab thing uh, to hold them in the bottom of the candle uh, but either I didn't these didn't come with those or they've been missing in the interim since I bought them who knows so I'm just going to hot glue these tabs in the bottom of these cans glue right on the last one there we go okay so those are secured in there I'm gonna unplug my hot glue gun just so it's not sitting here I might touch it now also I have going here a pot of water and this pitcher is, uh, I keep it reserved specifically for things. Oh, get, it's hot. Get, 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 get. I don't want you to get burned. Get. Um, for wax, candle making, soap making, that kind of thing. And the wax I'm using today is from this candle. It was a square candle. Um, I've been chopping away at it all morning. Um, and it's... I don't remember. I've had it for a long time, but it was one of those that as it burned, it tunneled down into the middle and the middle would get all liquid wax and it would put itself out. It just wouldn't stay lit, but it's beautifully scented with lilac and lilac is one of my favorite scents. Okay. Here's a problem. I have my water in here, but it's too deep. So I'm using this double boiler method to melt my wax. So it's safer this way. And it's already starting to melt. So rather than you can buy wax pellets for candles, I also like to save up throughout the year all my little nubs and ends of partially built uh, burnt candles. Um, and then I throw them in to melt. And even if I miss the um, wicks, I can fish those out carefully, kind of strain the wax and um, so these are going to have a wonderful lilac scent to them, which is nice because it's one of my favorite spring scents. completely well melted. I don't know if I have melted enough to fill all 12 cans, but it's a good start. So 
So quite often your wicks will also come with some little props to help hold the, the wicks straight while the wax, you pour the wax in. These have a pretty stiff pre-waxed wick. So I think they're gonna stand up fine without any support. I have used chopsticks or pieces of painter's tape or something across the top of a candle to keep the wick straight, but let's just see how this works. I'm afraid I'm only gonna have enough to do three or four, probably three at this point, but I do have more wax that I can melt if I want. So we'll just start with those three. And nope, 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 nope. Again, eh, kittens, not always the help, most helpful assistants when doing things with hot wax. So get them, keep them out of the way, children as well. Oh, kitten, no, block you in the other room. She said, but those are cat food cans. That must be something for me, but it's not. Anyhow, I'm just gonna let those um, cool and keep the kitten out of them. <laughs> and uh, maybe continue to work away at this chunk of wax. This will probably do at least three more and go into my candle box and see how many um, partially used candles that I can um, reuse to make these candles because as I, as you can see they're pretty good size candles they're going to burn hopefully they're going to burn a long time um it's kind of um an experiment every time uh candle making is a lot there's a lot more to good candle making than just uh well melting wax adding color and scent and throwing it into a container i've learned that the hard way um i have some candles around here that i've trying to make myself and there's a lot of science to getting the ratios of the right type of wax, the right type of wick and the ratios of scented oil, etc., to get the good scents that you want when you're burning the candles. So, um, these are not professionally made candles. These are emergency candles or they're going to be used as ritual candles for in bulk. So um, it's more about the uh, intention and energy that I put into the candle as I make it than it is um, perhaps about the appearance or the burn time overall. So just a simple little way to recycle some goods, um, some things I've had around the house for my home ritual. So I hope you enjoyed this and can take something away from it and uh, have a great in bulk. All right, so now I've had a little time for my the wax and these little candles to cool and solidify. You can see, and it's usually best to let your candles cure. Um, I mean, the longer you can let them cure, the better, but I'm gonna let these cure at least 20, well, let's see, what's the 30th? Yeah, I have a couple days before in bulk, so I can um, not have to light them until then. I may light one later uh, tomorrow or something. But to decorate them, I thought, well, they're kind of boring and ugly, and you can still see some of the cat, can, cat food can stuff on them. So I went and got out my little small, very small collection of washi tapes and hopefully that is focusing, decorated a couple of them with some kind of spring colored washi tapes. And I thought those were pretty. Then I remembered I had this bin. Oh, and I have a bottle of wine too. Everybody needs that when you're crafting. And this bin of, this is adhesive ribbon that I found at uh, the Dollar Tree or something at some point, and I've never used it. So let's see how it works. Okay, that's kind of annoying, okay. Since these are lilac scented, I decided to pick some 
purple ribbons. Two. Back around. That's kind of nice. Yeah. So I have some glittery ones and I have some satin ones. And I thought I would kind of mix and match them. So there we go. A little, um, actually more like a plum merlot kind of color on the bottom one, but those are pretty. So I can kind of mix and match my uh, ribbons here and come up with some other colors to decorate these two. Um, and I think that's fun. I'm feeling a little bit inspired, but since I have three cats that each get a can of cat food a day, and I've been collecting these cans for a while now, um, I have plenty of these little cans and I will have an endless supply going forward. So I can uh, come up with some other cute candle ideas. First, I kind of want to see how they burn before I invest a whole lot more time uh, in making more. But again, they're really great to have on hand for emergency candles, especially if you live somewhere where um, you may lose power quite often and, and need some supplementary lighting. If I were just going to be using them for utility candles, I wouldn't bother to decorate them. But if I'm going to be using them in any kind of ritual or anything, decorating them is fun. Thank you for joining me and uh, have a wonderful in bulk and we will catch you later. Peace out, witches.